Hello grade 11 STEM students and grade 10 students. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. At kung bago ka lang sa ating YouTube channel, welcome sa aking YouTube channel. Huwag na huwag mong kakalimutang i-like at i-share ang video na to at mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel and to hit the notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga latest upload. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So ang lesson na i-discuss natin under grade 11 pre-calculus and grade 10 mathematics ay ang circle. Okay, a conic section pa din. But this time, transforming the equation of a circle from standard form to general form. So basically, dun sa previous video natin, nag-transform tayo ng equation ng circle from general form to standard form. So this time, eto yung tinatawag natin vice versa or kabaligtaran. Okay, kung if you haven't watched the video on how to transform general to standard, ilalagay ko na lang yung link on the description box or you can visit our playlist on grade 11 pre-calculus and grade 10 mathematics for the second quarter. Okay, so bago tayo mag-proceed in conversion, magkaroon tayo ulit, again, another recap on the general form of a circle. So sabi natin, in general form of a circle, lagi dapat na uuna, yan na every binomial squared has been multiplied out. So dito, ang form niya, nauna si x, followed by y, yung 2hx natin, and then 2xy, and then h squared, and then k squared, and then yung radius, okay? And then, every term is on the left side. So basically, inililipat lang natin lahat sa left side. And then, ine-equate natin into zero. So dapat lagi siyang equal to zero. Uh, let's say for example, let's say example natin, x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 3. So yung minus 3, basically, um, eto si h squared, k squared, at saka r squared. So, pag equate natin sila, it will become minus 3. Dito sa case nito, equals 0. Okay, so para mas maintindihan nyo, let's have an example. So, dito, uh, sabihin ko muna sa inyo yung steps on how we convert from standard to general. Okay, first, we have to foil both trinomial squares as needed. Ano ba yung tinatawag nating foil? So, foil is stands for... Um, Binomial expansion. So, pag nagbabinomial expansion, expansion tayo, susundin natin yung FOIL method. Yung FOIL method ay first, first terms, multiply natin yung first terms, followed by outer terms, inner terms, and then last terms. So, basically, si binomial, meron siyang first term, meron siyang um, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. Ganun natin siya, phenofoil method. Okay, so I will have a separate discussion on how to perform foil method dun sa mga hindi ganong familiar. Pero basically, if you are already in grade 11 and then you are taking pre-calculus, dapat familiar na kayo kay foil method or kay binomial expansion. Next, move the radius to the left side of the equation. So, ilalagay natin si radius from the left side. Okay, to the left side, rather. Ayan, kasi nga, i-equal natin, i-equate lang natin siya into zero. Simplify natin yung constant, and then write the equation in general form. Ayan, para mas maintindihan nyo naman igi, let's have an example. Write the general form of the equation of the circle. Ito yung equation niya in standard form. So, ang standard form natin, I x minus h squared, again, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, where the center is h, k, and the radius. Naka-equal siya kay radius. Ayan. So, paano natin siya i-express e e into general form? So, basically, sabi ko sa inyo, you can do FOIL method. Okay. Paano yung FOIL method? So, doblihin nyo lang to x minus 4 times x minus 4. So, using FOIL method, first term muna. What is the first term? x, eto yung first term nito, eto rin yung first term nito. So, basically, x times x is x squared. Outer term, eto yung outer term, eto yung another outer term. So, x times negative 4 is negative 4x. 
inner term, yung na, dalawang nasa loob, ito at ito. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And then yung last term natin, itong last na to at itong last na to. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Ayan. So pag pinagsama-sama natin, it will become x squared. Negative 4x, magkamukha sila na x lang, so pwede natin silang i-add. It will become negative 8x plus 16. Ayan. Or, pwede rin natin siyang gawing ganito para mas madali sa inyo. Una, square mo tong first term. Kunin mo yung, uh, multiply mo to, okay? Multiply mo to, ito, at ito. So, x times negative 4 is negative 4x times 2 is negative 8x. Pwede yun. And then, square mo lang tong nasa dulo. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So, ayun na din siya. Kamukha na din. Okay. Plus, square mo ngayon tong y. y squared. Multiply mo yung y kay 3 at 2. y times 3 is 3y times 2 is positive 6y. Square mo si 3. 3 times 3, we have 9. And then, ilipat mo si 36 dito. Equate mo siya sa 0. So, plus, ay, sorry, it will become, erase natin. Ayan. It will become minus 36 equals 0. Ayan. So, ito na siya. Ito na. Hindi pa niya inilipat kanina. So, x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared plus 6y plus 9 equals 36. Nilipat lang si 36. So, ito na siya. And then, pag samasamahin lang natin, unahin natin to, si x squared. Ayan. Si x squared, yun muna. Ayan. Followed by ni y squared. So, lagay natin sa pangalawa. Followed by ni negative 8x. Ayan. Followed by si 6y, ilalagay siya. And then, 16 plus 9 minus 36 is equal to negative 11 equals 0. So, yun na yung ating standard. Ay, sorry, general equation. Another example. x squared, x plus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared equals 25. So, sabi natin, we will square it first. Square natin yung x, x squared. x times 1 times 2. x times 1 is one, is x times 2 is 2x. Positive 2x. Square mo yung 1, it will become 1. Plus, square mo yung y, square mo yan. y times 2 is 2y times 2 is 4y. Square mo yung 2. It will become 2 times 2, which is equal to 4, which is equal to 25. Ayan. So, x squared, nahin mo lang to. Ay, sorry, x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4. Lipat mo si 25 and then equate to 0. Si 25 magiging negative 25, which is equal to 0. Ayan. So, pagsamasamahin na natin. So, x squared muna, followed by 4y. Ay, pwede nyo i-cross out para hindi kayo malito. Ay, sorry, followed by y squared, followed by 2x, followed by 4y. And then, equate natin yung mga natirang number. Si 1, positive 1, si positive 4, at si negative 25. 1 plus 4 is 5, minus 25 is negative 20 which is equal to 0. So, ito na yung standard form niya. Ayan. O, let's see kung tama yung naging sagot natin. Ayan. x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 4y minus 20 is equal to 0. Ayan. Okay. So, sa next video natin, i-explain ko naman sa inyo kung paano tayo mag-convert o mag-write ng equation given yung center and radius both in um, general and standard. And at the same time, given yung graph, i-write natin yung equation into general and standard form. Okay? I hope you learned something in our video. Kita-kit sa next video. That's all for today. 
Thanks for watching.